Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the how you can beat the extreme challenge for Beast Gohan in DBZ Dirk Metal. Now obviously, you know, to cut a long story short, I think everyone's going to struggle differently with this challenge to everyone else. Extreme units don't get a ton of buffs and a lot of the time it's going to depend on your box. I mean that's always kind of the case but especially in this one. Uh, like I know the consensus is that like extreme strength is currently a bit of an issue. Uh, obviously, yeah, I think looking at everything, extreme strength probably is the weakest typing across the board, and I think that's what's causing people to struggle to build teams. Uh, like uh, I think the best strength units you kind of got right now are probably cooler. Uh, thankfully, still very useful. Uh, then I'd probably say you've got the um, extreme strength hit you can somehow work into a team and then you've got the extreme strength uh, Martian Boo uh, Wrathful Explosion whatever his name is um, that's it really it's a very limited typing right now and I think that's what's causing a lot of issues with this so you feel like you have to bring a unit then that unit constantly has to be pushed off rotation moved out the way um, yeah, it's just going to depend on your box. But for me, um, like, yeah, i got to be honest. I think for the, uh, like, most important aspects of everything, I think it all comes away um, relatively well done. Obviously, we're using super bosses. Look, uh, super bosses, very good team, especially with, you know, AGL Broly. And how our strategy works, to cut a long story short to you, is we're just going to absolutely abuse... Um, we're going to absolutely abuse Broly. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to try our best to get to the physical phase without using an item. Um, so potentially what we're going to do is, for example, take on the AGL Gohan here, you can see. Um, but what we're going to do is, like, I've, so if you get Cooler, basically, uh, and Cooler is taking more than one attack, you can't do this. You, you're going to need to use an item, which is fine. You can still get through it without an item. The goal, though, is to activate the Whis as late as possible so that hopefully we can overlap at least one turn with Gohan. And in that one turn, we have Transform Broly, and that Transform Broly absolutely rips Gohan in half. That is basically the entire premise of this. So the whole point is to have the double Whis active or a Whis active at the very least. Uh, obviously, you want that active, but generally speaking, if you can get a turn of double Whis, and a lot of people say, oh, well, why double Whis? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. So, basically, it's so that any unit can be thrown into the first slot. See, because the thing is, Broly can tank with one Whis more than fine in the first slot. So can the other units on this team. But if Broly gets locked there, firstly, you lose out on too much damage. And if you use him to tank, you'll get stunned and you'll lose too much damage. So what happens is, is then you, you're out of damage. And with Broly, it's probably i'd probably say like 90 percent of our damage i don't know um early is probably like 90 percent of the damage uh so it's a very very difficult uh situation because your kind of aim is to essentially have Broly do all the damage, you can't use him to tank because then you lose out on the damage and if you lose out on that damage, I'd say more than twice in a row, you're kind of done. Like you're kind of done, like you, you're you not going to have enough damage with everyone else uh, to take him, to take out Beast Gohan in you know, kind of the time frame you want. Then it becomes very much a lottery where you're gambling on who's Gohan going to lock, who's he going to, you know, what's going to happen, and then he stuns them and then so it's it's tough it's definitely tough um for sure i think for me uh if i had to say anything i would probably say that as a like someone building a team in that i think you do sort of have to you know, build around bringing that big volume damage dealer right now i think broly is ultimately the hardest hitting extreme type unit um so Master hits hard, he doesn't hit as hard as Broly. Uh, physical Rosé at a rainbow level, the TR actually weirdly enough can hit pretty hard as well. 
doesn't hit as hard as Broly. Um, yeah, we look at, yeah, I really just don't think there's any extreme unit that does. I mean, Cooler has good damage output, of that I have no doubt. Uh, Broly, Chi Lion, Lemo can obviously nuke, but outside of that, you got a little bit of problems. Um, so yeah, it, it's, you know, Harutagon, maybe? But even he can't really output Broly numbers. Like, Broly is the damage dealer. So whatever team you build, I feel like you have to bring a friend Broly. If you do, the strategy remains the same. Uh, the goal is always just to cater to Broly once transformed to take out Gohan. Uh, if you can achieve that, you've done exactly what you need. So it is very, very uh, difficult to you know, kind of back any other strategy. But I think you, you can obviously do it with other strategies, but I think like the power of Broly really is where I'd probably say things are going to work out fine. Um, but yeah, you know, good team overall. Obviously tons of great utility across the board. Freezer, great. Broly, Chi Lion, Lemo, great. Then, you know, we do have my own Broly, who I didn't transform because he's weaker, but it's a good choice. Tech's Master is still standing tall. And even Cooler uh, doing a great job. Various priced and how well he's holding up. Yeah, defensively can be caught at certain points, but in fights like this where he has a little bit of the advantage from the typing and that, uh, still a really helpful unit. So overall, I'd have to say really good stuff. Uh, was a really fun run. And I, yeah, I think that's really it for me. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, as always, take care, stay safe and uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then, bye.